idyllic blonde beaches and jungle cloaked valleys. The island paradise of Langkawi, tucked off the coast of northwestern Malaysia, has for decades attracted both locals and tourists from around the world. It's a kind of place where you can just relax and have good time during your holidays. Rest okay. a little bit. Beach is very beautiful. Uh, people are very beautiful. But Langkawi ni dia macam-macam. Tempat pelancongan seperti cable car, museum 3D dan sebagainya. Tourism accounts for nearly 90% of the island's economy. It took a severe beating during COVID-19, with many losing jobs as tourist arrivals came to a standstill. Some, like Nur Hayati no, who owns a tour company, also had to put the brakes on their businesses. She now works for her friend instead. Kalau dua tahun tu kita tak boleh business senang ni dulu sangat happening. Okay, bila happening COVID dua tahun, jadi pekan hantu kita nak business macam mana? Tapi saya tu tak jalan. Signs of recovery are starting to show since the island reopened its shores to visitors last year. Still, industry players say it's a far cry from pre-pandemic times. Earnings for some of the island's roughly 200 tour guides, for example, are about 40% lower these days. The industry is not fully recovered. Some of them, they are still struggling. When, when you say about a tour guide, it's not only English or Malay speaking guide. There's a Chinese-speaking uh, guy as well. But there's no Chinese tourists coming to Langkawi, so there's no income. It's also seeing fewer travellers from countries like Germany, Australia and the UK, which typically make up the bulk of visitors here. One academic says with travel picking up in the region, Langkawi could also face stiff competition from other island destinations. Now we can see the travel among the Malaysians shifted to southern Thailand because of the cost, it's cheaper cost. For Langkawi, I think it might cost about, let's say, four-star hotel. It might approach 300 to 400 ringgits, right? But in Thailand, you might, you might get half of it. Meanwhile, the authorities have set in motion plans to boost tourism recovery here. These include injecting funds for hotel upgrading works, urban renewal and heritage conservation. Signs of changing attitudes towards sustainability and ecotourism are also emerging in Malaysia. For one, green groups are urging for local tour operators to offer more nature-based packages. This could cover mountains, forests and even waterfalls like this one here, besides the more typical island hopping tours. One thing's for sure, the people here are hopeful for brighter days ahead, as this jewel gradually emerges from the shadows of COVID-19. Alif Amsha, CNA, Langkawi.